you are now looking at a Kia um, SUV in sparkling silver. And in these little videos, we like to be extremely random by giving you bizarre information. Like the fact that our young Namibian colleague insists that this car's name is not pronounced Sportage. Everyone we know calls it a Sportage. All the peeps here in Southern Africa say Sportage, yet he alleges that the correct way to say its name is Sportage. What do you think? While we love teasing or annoying him, phonetically speaking it should be Sportage, right? Which means we're all wrong. Perhaps we should check with the master destroyers of car names, the Americans. What do y'all call it? Sportage. Whatever the case may be, here's some more completely random and probably irrelevant information. This vehicle is sold in five trim levels with three engine and three transmission options. This GT line is the only all-wheel drive model in the local lineup. Apparently, you can also end up with one of four wheel designs and have a choice of ten paint colors, which include two whites, two silvers and two blues. Prices range from are you sure to are you mad and will surely double by the end of next week. We all think that this Kia Sport AGE is fairly unique looking while obeying contemporary design trends. These include unnecessarily aggressive styling, partly useless air intakes, enormous dark alloys, flattened fender edges, huge doors but a claustrophobic window line, and the obligatory light bar across its rump. Oh, and a rear diffuser, or what looks like a diffuser, which you'd find on a Formula One car, because the Sportager needs all the downforce it can get at its maximum velocity of 201 kilometers an hour. Mm. But enough of the sarcasm. We absolutely love this Panda interior, although it's reserved for the dearer models. Having said that, we tested a blue base model some time ago and that, even with its cloth seats and standard radio, made a very good impression on all of us. It had decent specs, fairly good space and a great ride. On top of that, Kia alleges that this sporty AG car will only use an average of 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres from its 62 litre fuel tank, but as with all turbo petrol vehicles, you can add at least 25% for real world use. If you drive this vehicle in anger, it should hit 100 kilometres an hour in exactly 9.1 seconds. We tried that with a previous model and got an astonishing 8.26 near sea level. Not bad. Hmm. What else? Kia South Africa offers a 5 year unlimited mileage warranty and 5 year 90,000 km service plan with each sportage they sell, but results may vary in your area. In fact, pretty much everything I've just said could be untrue for your region. Best you visit your nearest dealer to find out more about this Kia however you want to pronounce it.